Hillary Clinton falsely claiming Donald Trump is an admitted sex assaulter. I got to say that again, admitted sex assaulter as she compares him to Harvey Weinstein, but claims against Bill. Well, they're clearly in the past. OK, I'm a little confused here. Here she is saying this. This kind of behavior cannot be tolerated anywhere, whether it's in entertainment, politics. Well, you know, after all, we have someone admitting to being a sexual assaulter in the Oval Office. There has to be a recognition that we must stand against this kind of uh, you know, action that is so mis sexist and misogynistic. And this depends upon women coming forward and having yeah. the courage to come forward. Right. And yet in your book, the three women brought onto stage mm -hmm. by Trump attacking your husband, and you kind of dismissed them. Was that the right thing to do? Are you sure about that? Well, yes, because that had all been litigated. I mean, that was the subject of a huge uh, you mm. know, investigation, as you might recall, in the late 90s. And uh, there were conclusions drawn, and that was clearly in the past. You know who we need to bring in for this? Former Milwaukee County Sheriff and Senior Advisor for America First Action, David Clark. David, good to see you this morning. Morning, Sheriff. Hey. Thank you. You know, usually I can keep a straight face, but I can't after listening to that. There's a reason why President Trump refers to Mrs. Bill Clinton as Crooked Hillary. Now, let's unpack this for a minute. She sat up there during the uh, trysts that her husband was having, actual, actual rape uh, allegations, some of that had been proven, and she defended the actions of her husband, and she trashed the reputation of those victims. So for her to sit up here today and say, victims need uh, to be believed because they have to have the courage to come forward, and when the victims uh, of her husband came forward, she trashed him, she called him floozies, she blamed it on a right-wing conspiracy. Now, in that clip you showed, when she said we have a um, uh, ad admitted sexual assault uh, person in the White House, she was going back to her husband's years because that's when we had a sexual assault suspect inside the White House. David, you are a man of law and order. What bothers me most about what she said, as a Yale-educated attorney, what Hillary Clinton just did calling President Trump are accusing him of having an admitted sexual assault, that is real specific legal language that could be defamation or slander. And as a Yale-educated attorney, she should know that. What do you make about that? Well, she knows that that's a high threshold for a public official. You can make those kind of smears and, and get away with it. But look, uh, she's proven time and time again, not only during the campaign, but during this this phony book tour that she's on, that she's morally bankrupt. Her ethics elevator has no bottom floor, and she will do whatever she has to do to protect herself, her image, and her reputation. If there's one person in the United States of America, maybe in the world, who has no respect for the victims of sexual assault, the women who have, have been sexually assaulted or have been uh, subject to uh, that sort of behavior in the workplace, it's Mrs. Bill Clinton. She doesn't care about those women. Her politics matters more to her. The reputation of her husband to prop him up in the White House for her future political endeavors was more important to her than these victims. Actually, women's groups ought to be coming out right now and attacking her and going after her for her, not only her past treatment of, of, of women who have claimed sexual assault or sexual harassment, but for what's going on right now. I'm really surprised. If she was doing what she wanted to do, she probably would be defending Harvey Weinstein right now. But right now, she knows that uh, the whole thing caved in on him, and yeah. she's left with nothing to do but kind of shovel dirt on his grave. But that mm. woman is despicable. Well, it yeah, took her and where's long Lisa enough. Bloom? <laughs> that didn't last for more than about two days. Yeah. It took Hillary Clinton long enough to at least come out about Harvey Weinstein.